So you join us in the middle of a bit of a disagreement. Essentially, I've given the boys, our normal home cooks, a grocery bag full of ingredients and asked them to create three dishes, two portions of each, with zero waste. After that, I'll show them what myself and the food team would have done with the same ingredients. OK, boys, let's see what's in the bag. Rocket. OK. Sweet potatoes. Easy. Puffs. Yes, Brussels sprouts. Parsnips. Yes. Oh, blue. <laughs> oh. Milk. OK, really familiar, humble ingredients. Hopefully a bunch of seasonal ingredients that could shout Christmas if you do some stuff with them. So between you, three midweek meals, two portions of each and zero food waste. That is all your fresh stuff. You have access to our regular staples cupboard. It's behind you. Your 30 minutes starts. <gasps> oh no. Now. Okay, one dish, I'm thinking puff pastry. Ricotta, blue cheese with some rocket and we can pickle half an onion. Why don't I make bubble and squeak with some of these? Where's your bubble coming from? Potato. You are allowed to use staples from the cupboard. You've got orzo, you've got rice, you've got pasta, you've got noodles, you've got couscous. Any of those if you want them. Boys, you've had five minutes. Cut the ingredients up and do it. Hey, Buzz! Yeah, you're not helping! Beautiful blue cheese. Oh. Someone instruct me. Let me know what to do. I can chop and we can think. What, we're going to have to um, peel and chop the parsnips. Fine. Bubble and squeak is basically potato and cabbage patties and then fry off. It's easy to use that milk to make a parsnip puree. I think yeah. you can, with nutmeg and Christmassy flavours. So as long as you're hashy, this can be mashy. <laughs> Stop it. You have 22 minutes left. Jay started with quick pickle onions. The longer you leave them, the better they get. Yeah. Still waiting for you to do the same. <laughs> Mike was the only one on the team that was forward thinking. He boiled a kettle and preheated an oven. You're making cheese a and pastry and nothing else. And with your, rocket, right. with pickled onions and uh, toasted pine nuts. So you're going to caramelise that all together Jamie, and it's going to go under. Brussels. Use the Brussels. Where are we using these two pints of milk? Um, I'm going to use them for the parsnip mashy puree thing. I might need a little bit for my mash. You can have it. And then shall we have lots of, cup of cups of tea so that we don't <laughs> <laughs> waste it? I think that's valid. There are a few ingredients like parmesan, like milk, like garlic and ginger that we don't expect you to use all up because they have a long enough shelf life or have a very common role in a number of other things like breakfast cereal and tea, coffee, etc. Oh, what are you doing there? Just fry those off. Fry them. Can we talk about flavours, just so that we make these different? This is the sixth time he's mentioned flavours and the fifth time that he's been ignored. I can see, like, in the, um, you can spice your pasta, but it's yeah. the same sort of thing as you would with bread sauce. Posting some pineapple Are now. you mad? Yeah, your dish is going to be wonderful, mate. You've had half your time. How does that make you feel? Uh, terrified. You now have a plan. Most of the hard root vegetable stuff are coming along together. If you're going to go honey, with your sweetness. Maybe I'll go sprouts with orange. Yeah, yeah, that would work. We've still got a potato. Um, maybe I just use that in my... Potato and parsnip mash. Yeah. At the moment, I like the fact that the three dishes are relatively simple on their own. Good decision to cut that potato up nice and small, given the fact you're putting it in 15 minutes after the parsnip. Jamie has some very oily sprouts, to which he's also added balsamic and honey. He's also pickled some onions and he's got some cheese mix happening in a bowl. Whipped ricotta with blue cheese. Whilst his pastry cooks off in the oven. Meanwhile, Barry is microwaving his sweet potato. He's cooking some sprouts and he's finishing a salad to go with it. Blue cheese and rocket. 20 minutes, 10 minutes remaining. Ah, oh, 10 minutes, lads. This is not good. It's almost like you started cooking without a plan. Shush, sure, Evans. What I would say though is it's smelling very Christmassy in here and what I mean by that is sautéed sprouts and honey and spice and parsnip and citrus like clementine or in this case orange. I'm not sure I'm going to fry right. these into patties that I thought. It's too late for that Barry. I'm going to put it upside down. The patties aren't going on top of the salad, the salad's going on top of the patties. Barry you should have thought about this. I have no idea what I've made. I've made sprouts and mashed parsnips and they're not even good. Beautiful pastry, what a wonderful colour. 
OK, with three minutes left, who is proud of their efforts? No one. I think there's some lovely ideas. It looks like it's working for you. Oh. It's holding its form. He's made gruel. <laughs> OK, you've got one minute, 40 seconds left. I don't know what I've done. What? <laughs> Someone do something to this. One minute left. Just... <laughs> Tim, what's happening? Jamie! <laughs> Jay, what have you done? Why are you, what are you doing? Like, Rocket on top. You changed Rocket plan. on top. It's not change plan. It's adapting. God, that is so pickly. 45 seconds. Mike, Mike, you need some greenery because there's, there's too much greenery. Thank you. No, no, no. no is no. it vegan? No. Got 20 seconds. Yes, yes, yes. Nuts, yes. nuts, 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 nuts. What, what, what? No, no, Barry, 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 Barry. <laughs> Stop and step away from your midweek meals. It's gruel with green <laughs> on it. <laughs> Boys, it looks interesting to say the least. Step out of the kitchen, we'll get some sexies, clear down, and see what they taste like. Lots of shared ingredients, and from what I saw, all cooked, all smelling great. Should we see what they taste like? Yeah. So this was meant to be bubble and squeak on a blue cheese and pine nut salad, but it's been flipped upside down and the bubble and squeak hasn't been turned into patties and just been spread out as a smash. I like the fact you've got the sweetness, you've got the pepperiness of rocket, you've got a little bit of blue cheese there, crunch and pine nut. That, as a one pot slap it on a plate, tastes great. I think the lemon might be an afterthought, but I think it's a great start. This dish. Hello. Was the one that I think had the biggest plan from the start. And then <laughs> the plan got doubled. Puff pastry, whipped ricotta and blue cheese, uh, caramelised sprouts, pickled onions, pine nuts, rocket. It is very mellowed, but if blue cheese is not your thing, you're still going to taste blue cheese. They're all relatively easy things to put on top once the pastry's done. I feel like you got the short straw again, which is two dishes with a plan, and Mike, make do with what's left. This is mostly parsnip and one potato mash with uh, some allspice in butter, using some of the milk with orange juiced blackened sprouts and a ton of rocket and olive oil. It could do with a bit more seasoning. And because you've got orange on there, mm. I love orange as a seasoning around Christmas, but it's kind of all it's got. Yeah. But it's hearty, it is very seasonal, it is very affordable, and I wouldn't mind tucking into a bowl of it. As a bunch though, not bad at all. You tried to crisp up the skins, didn't quite work. And the only thing we're really left with, a bit of citrus, it wasn't a huge amount of orange used, squeezed or zested, and some milk and some butter and some pine nuts. That wouldn't be wasted, really, aside from the citrus. Well done, boys. Well, we've done so well, we don't need to know what you would have made with it. <laughs> Do you want to see what the food team would have done with the same ingredients? Yes, and for progression, <laughs> no, for my confidence. <laughs> OK, Evers, you have half an hour for dish number one, please. Get started. The first dish is going to celebrate something that is feels very festive and Christmassy, and that is a baked cheese. So with a bit of luck. What are you sorry, what are you doing? What? What are you Oh, 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 oh Evers! Oh, well normally you'd do it with like a camembert. Baked wouldn't camembert, you? yeah. We're gonna do it with ricotta and some Christmas spices. So, drizzle of honey. What so are there's you, nowhere we're getting anywhere doing? near this. Pinch of allspice and a pinch oh, of cinnamon. Salt. Pepper. As always, start by boiling a kettle and preheating an oven. Oh, he didn't do it! it. He, didn't he didn't do it! it. It's already preheated. I turned it off just so I could say that. Why can we hear a kettle? You're already halfway through cooking. Next up, one staple from the store cupboard, some couscous, 100 grams of lemon. Sprouts to be celebrated all week round. Sometimes you can do different things with it. Shred them. The advantage of shredding them means you've got more surface area, they will cook a bit quicker. So taking lots of learnings from everything we've discussed this year, the food team are always coming up with new ways of cooking things that save time, that are really speedy, that give you the control, but also, in this instance, can be more efficient as well. And that's the microwave. So all of our lovely seasoned couscous gets covered with boiling water, then covered with sprouts, Everybody's got 20 minutes left. Excellent. So top and tail an orange and then cut down around it. And then basically, although you're going to hold it in your hand, be careful, you're only going halfway down to the middle core. So you go either side of the segments and they should just 
especially because I see this one pop out as individual orange segments. And now you've got all the segments out, still don't waste that because even that will squeeze out the last of the orange juice. For the last few minutes of cheese cooking, I'm going to scatter some nuts onto the tray. You've got 18 minutes left. The beautiful thing about these recipes is they're using Christmas-like ingredients. They feel festive, but they're not Christmas dinner. They are nice midweek classics. The quicker you can get dinner on the table, the better. Mm. The sprouts have now half steamed, half cooked in the microwave. The couscous underneath should be nice and softened. And just as we mix it all in, we can add in orange segments plus some acidity from half a lemon. Divide that between two plates and then dollop on your cheese and finish with your toasted pine nuts. Warm baked ricotta on an orange and sprout couscous salad. Toasted pine nuts, that's dinner on the table in how long? Still got 12 minutes left. Less than 20 minutes. Whilst the first dish was really speedy, less than 20 minutes, this one will take the full 30 but it won't all be active cooking time. Beep, beep. I'm going to start with a sweet potato, which I'm going to dice up into one centimetre dice. So this particular bunch of recipes came as a result of let's buy in lots and lots of delicious Christmas-like ingredients that you would normally see on the Christmas table, but now let's do something much quicker and easier that you want to eat midweek. Onion, oil, salt and pepper. Clink film and put them in the microwave for eight minutes. Chefs bloody love a microwave. It's one of our hacks we've fallen in love with this year because if you've got one, it can really speed up midweek cooking without jeopardising the quality of the food you eat. Eight minutes, full power, then we'll come back to it. Milky blue cheese. I'm doing exactly what Jamie did, which is let down blue cheese. He let his down with ricotta. I can't do that because I've baked all mine off, but I'm just letting it down with a little bit of milk. It's going to be some weird Weetabix in the morning. It's the worst, <laughs> worst bowl of cereal ever. <laughs> I don't know where this is going. No. Again. No. You're gonna like you're gonna like this, Jay. He's just gonna do what you've done. What I'm gonna do is just take the amount we need and bake off that. This is a luxury people might not be bothered with midweek, but I'm still waiting on the other ingredients. So if you just brush the edge with milk, you get a lovely gloss. And given we've got it anyway, you might as well. What fills me with a little bit of hope is that. From those ingredients, there wasn't some really obvious things to do that we missed. Yeah. Because none of us would have even dreamed of doing anything like this. The oven's nice and hot. This is going to go in for the remaining 12 minutes and hopefully char up nicely. This is the perfect time to do any washing up. But also, in those 12 minutes, you need to slice some sprouts, toss them with some rocket and season to taste. We can add a little bit of acid just before the tart is ready and it fills half the plate. Five minutes! Sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> oh yeah, double stack it, stack it, go on, stack <laughs> no. it. No. Uh, Evers? Yeah? You're out of time. <gasps> You've gone, looks like 20 seconds over. Take some of the 12 minutes from the last one. That is dish number two. Heavy on veg, bold on flavour, big comfort food. After two days of absolute feast, something a bit lighter. A seasonal parsnip soup with some pastry dippers. You called it. Ooh. Called it pastry dippers. Pastry soldiers. Or actually, probably not even soldiers, probably just one big shard that you can snap and shard yourself. Pardon? You're gonna what yourself? <laughs> shard yourself. <laughs> okay, I realise how that sounds. <laughs> So with parsnips, depending on the season and depending on their size, you might want to get rid of the middle core just so that you end up with something nice and smooth later on. The potato, we're going to peel. The milk, generous amount of salt. Plenty of black pepper. One vegetable stock cube and some allspice. That needs to boil up as quick as you possibly can and bubble away for about 10 minutes. Clear your board and sandwich what's left of your puff pastry between two sheets of baking paper. It won't puff up as much. Mm. But better for sharding. It needs about 12 minutes in an oven at 200. 15 minutes. Good, 12 minutes on that, up to boil, 10 minutes on that, then we'll blend it. That's pretty much exactly what I made. It's the same colour, <laughs> it's just a bit smoother. Season it to taste once you've blended it, 
but it's okay if it's a little under seasoned because you're about to go in with lovely blue cheese, which if the soup is thick enough, should just sit on top, a dream. And then because we've weighed that down between the paper, we can now shard it as we see fit. And that is an absolute feast to round off our three meals, two portions of each with zero food waste. Very nice. This is what a chef's brain fart looks Look at like. Look at that snowy little mountain thing over there. It just feels to me very seasonal and celebratory of Christmas ingredients. I think the food team did a great job on it. If you want to cook these exact recipes and a bunch more seasonal stuff, you can get them for free on Sidekick as part of the trial. Basically, reduce your shopping, reduce your food waste, therefore saving money and eat delicious food like this. Well, I say delicious. Yeah. Do you want well, to do yeah, yeah, that? Yeah. You might want to hold off that free trial until <laughs> then. <laughs> this is surreal. Wow, that's that amazing. It's transformational. This is weird to say, but it's quite puddingy. Yeah. 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 The honey, the allspice, and the cinnamon on that gives you that Christmas baked cheese, and then it's pulled back by a very savory sprout couscous. That is the sort of thing you get served in a, like a really like, swanky restaurant and go, oh, these guys are genius. Yeah. If they can do that at home. Dig into number two. Mm. So not dissimilar to yours. Blue cheese on the base, puff pastry, sweet potato, onion, and a sprout slaw. Now, obviously, these are all vegetarian, but there are meat and fish options in Psychic as well, obviously. That salad tastes so much more interesting than citrus and sprouts and rocket, but that's basically what it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. This is going to have the blue cheese overlap, but with a very different, rich, 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 velvety parsnip and potato soup. Take my shard. I'm sharding. And some really buttery shards. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is thick. Great way of using that as well. I think people often think it's not enough for dinner. Mm. But I challenge anyone to consume all of that. It's Drink delicious. Drink it through a straw. Three weird dishes, weird. I would say. <laughs> but that's a worldie. Yeah. yeah. I love doing these. Because mm. it wouldn't have even crossed my mind. There was no logic that I could accept. Well done, food team. Yeah, remember, we're, we're, we're pulling back on the compliments. On the compliments oh, sorry, them. okay. Oh, because of the... Well, yeah, now they're big TikTok stars. 